Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Sciences, SOS, Bachelor's Degree Programs, Certificate Postgraduate Certificate Programs, Postgraduate Certificate in Geoinformatics, PGCGI, MGY001 Introduction to Geoinformatics, Block 1 Overview of Geoinformatics, Unit 1 Geoinformatics, An Introduction 1.1 Introduction You know that the increasing human population is exerting an unprecedented pressure on the existing natural resources. Therefore, in order to meet the ever increasing demand on the infrastructure development, urban planning, healthy neighborhood, safe transportation of human populace and material, Management of natural resources, disaster preparedness of the community, conservation of biodiversity and elevating the status of endangered animals to safe level, etc. Require a comprehensive approach with careful understanding of geography of the earth. Here comes the power of geoinformatics, which uses the modern scientific and technological advancements for better. Utilization of space to have for sustainable human growth. Geoinformatics can be defined as the science and technology that deals with the geoinformation. Its acquisition, creation, storage, processing, presentation and dissemination. And, by spatial information and data we mean any information and data that can be linked to a location on Earth. As you are being introduced to the new discipline of geoinformatics, we would like to present you some real-time examples on how the geoinformatics technology could be better utilized to manage the day-to-day -day affairs and increase your efficiency. For example, all major telecom companies in India use geoinformatics technologies to lay their cables and locate mobile towers. Power sectors across Indian states have identified geoinformatics technologies as the decision support tool for locating the electrical assets in towns to reduce transmission loss and reduce electrical theft through consumer mapping. With this brief introductory note on geoinformatics and its diverse applications, we further proceed to appraise you of varied components and products of geoinformatics. Objectives After studying this unit you should be able to Times define geoinformatics Times identify various components of geoinformatics Times develop a concept of its advantages and diverse applications Times recognize the evolution of geoinformatics Times discuss the multidisciplinary nature of geoinformatics and Times list types of geoinformatics products. One point to what I is geoinformatics. Geoinformatics today has become an important technology to the decision makers across a wide range of disciplines, industries and organizations as it enables them to acquire, process, analyze, visualize spatial information and produce outputs. Now, before we delve deeper into the geoinformatics, Technology, let us first understand the meaning of the term geoinformatics. The term geoinformatics consists of two words, geo, earth, and informatics. The study of information processing. Hence, geoinformatics can be understood as the union of earth sciences and informatics. We can say that geoinformatics broadly deals with the use of information technology for Collection, analysis, storage, retrieval, representation and dissemination of information about the Earth. The term geoinformatics is believed to have come in existence just few decades back as a result of the integration of three disciplines, namely photogrammetry, remote sensing and geographic information systems. There is another term i.e. geomatics which was first used in Canada at Laval University in the early 1980s to describe the above-mentioned disciplines. Realizing the concept that increasing potential of computing which was 
revolutionizing surveys and representation sciences. According to the Department of Geomatics Engineering, University of Calgary, Geomatics, engineering is a modern discipline which integrates acquisition, modeling, analysis, and management of spatially referenced data, i.e., data identified according to their locations. Geomatics Industry Association of Canada, GIAC, defines geomatics as a technology and service sector focusing on the acquisition, storage, analysis, dissemination and management of geographically referenced information for improved decision-making. Earth science deals with the study of different aspects of the earth. Informatics is understood as the study of information processing. Geographic refers to the Earth's surface and near surface whereas spatial is a broad term which refers to any space and not just the space of the Earth's surface. Though the term geospatial is a subset of spatial, it is commonly used to refer to any spatial data. The word geomatics is derived from the French word geomatique, which was coined by Dubisson, a French photogrammetrist. The term geomatics is more commonly used in North America whereas geoinformatics seems to be more popular in Europe such as in Netherlands where there is a geoinformatics department at the famous ITC, International Institute for Aerospace Survey and Earth Sciences. Mitchluck, 2000, considers the term geomatics to be interchangeable with geoinformatics. However, some people are of the opinion that though both geomatics and geoinformatics include and rely heavily upon the theory and practical implications of geodesy, there is a difference in the meanings that the terms geomatics and geoinformatics convey. Let us come back to the definition of geoinformatics. Wikipedia defines geoinformatics as the science and the technology which develops and uses information science infrastructure to address the problems of geography, geosciences and related branches of engineering. According to Jachimsky, 2001, geoinformatics is the science of the gathering, processing and dissemination of information which is spatially defined within the Earth system. Geoinformatics has been described as the science and the technology dealing with the structure and character of spatial information, its capture, its classification, its storage, processing, portrayal and dissemination, including the infrastructure necessary to secure optimal use of this information or the art, science and technology dealing with the acquisition, storage, processing, production, presentation and dissemination of geoinformation, Olitsky. 2004. Conceptualization of geoinformatics is represented in FIG. 1.1. Look at the screen. FIG. 1.1. Conceptualization of geoinformatics, modified from Olitsky. 2004. Olitsky, 2004, believes that the term geoinformatics is more easily understood and is much better at conveying the essence of spatial research. Focusing on informatics. Hence, in the course material the term geoinformatics, GI, would be used. With this background, you will now be able to define geoinformatics. 1.3 Components of Geoinformatics From our discussion on the definition aspect of geoinformatics, we understand that geoinformatics is an integrated spatial research tool. It encompasses a broad range of disciplines including surveying and mapping, remote sensing, geographic information systems, GIS, global positioning system, GPS. Geodesy and Computer Science Various components of geoinformatics are the followings Times Computer Science Times Geodesy Times Cartography Times Photogrammetry Times Remote Sensing, Rupees 
Times Global Positioning System, GPS Times Geographic Information System, GIS You would be introduced to the major disciplines later in the relevant courses. However, let us get a brief idea about the various disciplines that constitutes. Geoinformatics 1.3 1. Computer Science Informatics, as a discipline, comprises of both the computer technologies, i.e. hardware and software. The important role of information derives from our necessity to manage more and more numerous and complex data in every field. The knowledge of computer science is a prerequisite to represent and process applicable information through the development of hardware and software. Computer science culture is now more prevalent contributing in improvement of our activities and research. The application and usage of computer science to geoinformatics go hand in hand. You will come across various aspects of the application of computer science to geoinformatics while studying about geoinformatics data acquisition, processing, product generation, data visualization, dissemination, etc. 1.3 Point to Geodesy Geodesy, also known as geodetics, is a discipline that deals with the measurement and representation of the Earth. Geodesy is defined as the science concerned with the study of shape and area of the Earth. Geodesy defines the shape and dimensions of the Earth through its two branches. Gravimetry and Positioning Astronomy Gravimetry deals with the determination of Earth's gravity and its anomalies. And the gravity determines the shape of the Earth. Positioning Astronomy determines the position of the points on the globe. Through the observation of stars and artificial satellites. The study of geodesy began with mere curiosity and the never-ending human. Inquisitiveness to explain the Earth's unknown through logic. It has been a great challenge for researchers to accurately represent the three-dimensional Earth into two-dimensional map forms. The underlying concept of geodesy helps in representing the Earth into dimensions. You shall read more about geodesy. While discussing datums, map projections, and coordinate systems in Unit 8 of this course. 1.3.3 Cartography Cartography is generally considered to be the science and art of designing, constructing and producing maps. It includes almost every operation from original field work to final printing and marketing of maps. It is also treated as a science of human communication. International Cartographic Association defines cartography as a discipline. Dealing with the conception, production, dissemination and study of maps. Map is a drawing of the whole or part of the surface of the earth on a plane. Surface to a particular scale. It is a manually or mechanically drawing picture of the earth showing the location and distribution of various natural and cultural phenomena. A sample map is shown in Fig. 1.2 Look at the start. Fig. 1.2 Cartographic Visualization of Avenue Trees in Chennai, Map Curtsy, WTI. Advanced Technology Limited. Cartographic representation is a key in deciding the fate of any map generated out of various geoinformatics analysis. Cartographic Visualization, which is the graphical presentation of geographic information, such as data, processes, relations, or concepts limits the extent of map details which could be incorporated for the given study area as depicted in FIG. 1.2 Now, let us understand how a map is different from a photograph. Map gives a picture of one or several of the elements of the Earth's surface, FIG. 1.3 But such a picture is not the same as a photograph. Photograph shows all the visible details pertaining to shapes and sizes, 
of the area photographed, irrespective of their relevance to the purpose for which it has been taken. Fig. 1.4. Moreover, a photograph shows only those objects which are physically present. A map, being the mental and manual creation of man, gives only those details in their true or visible shape and size using symbols in which we are interested. They may or may not have similarities with the shape and size of the objects represented on the photograph. Look at the screen. Fig. 1.3 A. Ward Map of Chennai City Corporation Useful for Detailed Study Whereas, B. Is a District Map of Tamil Nadu With District Capitals as Dots Useful for Regional Level Study Fig. 1.4 An Aerial Photograph of the Jolly Boy Island at the Mahatma Gandhi Marine National Park at Vandu located about 30 km from Port Blair in Andaman 1.3.4 Photogrammetry Photogrammetry is a technology developed for determining the geometric properties of objects from their photographic images. Photogrammetry is concerned with making measurements about position and shape of objects. With the help of photographs, the American Society for Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing, ASPERS, has defined photogrammetry as the art, science, and technology of obtaining reliable information about physical objects and the environment through processes of recording, measuring, and interpreting photographic images and patterns of recorded radiant electromagnetic energy and other phenomena. Although both maps and aerial photographs present a bird's eye view of the Earth, aerial photographs, fig. 1.4, are not maps. Maps are orthogonal. Representations of the Earth's surface, meaning that they are directionally and geometrically accurate, at least within the limitations imposed by projecting a three-dimensional object into two dimensions. Aerial photographs, on the other hand, display a high degree of radial distortion. In other words, the topography is distorted and until corrections are made for the distortion, measurements made from a photograph are not accurate. Nevertheless, aerial photographs are a powerful tool for studying the Earth's environment. In the late 1800s cameras were positioned above the Earth's surface in Balloons or kites and aeroplanes to take oblique aerial photographs of the landscape. During World War I, aerial photography played an important role in gathering information about the position and movements of enemy troops. After the war, civilian use of aerial photography from airplanes began with the systematic vertical imaging of large areas of Canada, the United States, and Europe. Many of these images were used to construct topographic and other types of reference maps of the natural and human-made features found on the Earth's surface. Photogrammetry is useful in various fields including topographic mapping, architecture, engineering, manufacturing, quality control, police investigation, and geology. Archaeologists use photogrammetry to produce plans of large or complex sites. Meteorologists use it to determine the actual wind speed of a tornado in places where objective weather data cannot be obtained. In movie production, photogrammetry is used to combine live action with computer. Generated imagery 1.3.5 Remote Sensing Remote sensing is a collection of data about an object from a distance. Scientists use the technique of remote sensing to monitor or measure phenomena found in the Earth's lithosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Humans and many other types of animals accomplish this task with aid of eyes or by the sense of smell or hearing. Remote sensing is usually 
done with the help of mechanical device known as remote sensor. This device has greatly improved ability to receive and record information about an object without having any physical contact with them. Often, these sensors are positioned away from the object of interest by using helicopters, planes, and satellites. Most remote sensing devices record information about an object by measuring an object's transmission of electromagnetic energy from reflecting and radiating surfaces. The simplest form of remote sensing uses photographic cameras to record information from visible or near-infrared wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. Concept of remote sensing is diagrammatically shown in FIG. 1.5 Wherein you can see that sun is the principal source of energy. When the energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation reaches the Earth's atmosphere, it undergoes the process of reflection, absorption and transmission. Earth's surface consists of different natural and man-made features which reflect, absorb, store and emit Earth's radiation at different wavelengths in different percentages depending upon their physical and chemical properties. You will study in detail about remote sensing and its various aspects in Blocks 1 and 2 in MGY00 to Remote Sensing and Image Interpretation. The data collected by the remote sensing and photogrammetry is also known as geoimagery. It includes satellite images and aerial photographs. You will study about electromagnetic radiation and its interaction with atmosphere and Earth's surface in Block 1, Introduction to Remote Sensing of MGY002, Remote Sensing and Image Interpreter. Remote sensing sensors record different amount of radiation that is reflected or emitted from different Earth surface features and reproduce it in form of an image. Remote sensing provides synoptic view of the Earth's surface by virtue of recording interactions of Earth surface features with electromagnetic radiation. These interactions are recorded in remote sensing images in the form of some numerical information. When the remote sensing data is Generated employing sun's energy, it is known as passive remote sensing. In the other type, i.e., active remote sensing, remote sensors such as radars send radiation themselves and collect the signal returned back to them from Earth. Surface features based on the factors such as portion of the electromagnetic spectrum used and the number of bands. Sensors are generally categorized into optical and microwave. Times optical sensors, these operate in the region between 0.3 and 15 micrometers of the electromagnetic spectrum. Times microwave sensors, these operate in the microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum, EMS. Optical remote sensing is further. Classified as panchromatic rupees, multispectral rupees, superspectral rupees, hyperspectral rupees and thermal rupees. We will discuss about them in the next unit. Remote sensing imagery has many applications in mapping land use and land. Cover, agriculture, soil mapping, forestry, city planning, archaeological, investigations, military observation and geomorphological surveying, mineral exploration, among other uses. One of the common examples of the use of remote sensing is the weather maps which you see in the news channels, providing forecast of weather conditions. More recently, laser scanning systems have come up which have the ability to produce complete information with high precision and automation. Remote sensing has following advantages over other forms of data collection. Methods Time synoptic coverage and wide area coverage, regional, national and global. 
Time's repeatability, satellites can revisit the same area at regular intervals and record data, enabling monitoring events and phenomena, and change. Detection analysis. Time's all-weather capability, active remote sensing, like radar could be used. In spite of cloud cover and during night. Times it can provide data of inaccessible areas. 1.3.6 Global Positioning System Global Positioning System, GPS, is a constellation of about 24 satellites, which are orbiting the Earth every 12 hours at an altitude of tilde 20, 200 km, as shown in FIG. 1.7 These satellites broadcast signals, which are used to derive precise timing, location, and velocity information. The derived information can then be clubbed with other systems, such as communication devices, computers, and software to perform a variety of functions. With equipment, ranging from handheld receivers to rack-mounted electronics, the signals of GPS can be used by anyone, anytime, anywhere in the world. GPS technology consisting of space, control, and user segments enables people to precisely know where they are on the surface of the Earth. Prior to GPS, positions were being established by complex procedure of relative and absolute measurements of directions and distances. Real-world applications of GPS fall into following five broad categories. Times location, determining a basic position. Times navigation, getting from one location to another. Times tracking, monitoring the movement of people, animals and goods. Times mapping, creating maps of the world. One of the applications of GPS gaining momentum is the location-based. Services, pounds. Pounds are geo-information services that can provide location-aware information based on the user's current position. Pounds are primarily used in emergency services. However, these are also used to provide information on nearby public resources, such as fuel stations, bus stops, ATM, machines, etc., for map and navigation services, such as in vehicles, and even for locating friends though your mobiles. Gagan, GPS aided geo augmented navigation or GPS and geo augmented navigation system is a planned implementation of a regional satellite based augmentation system, SBS, by the Indian government. The project is being implemented by the Airport Authority of India with the help of the Indian Space Research Organizations, ISRO. Technology and Space Support Its aim is to provide navigation system for all phases of flight over the Indian airspace and in the adjoining area. 1.3.7 Geographic Information System Geographic Information System, GIS, integrates hardware, software, and data for capturing, managing, analyzing, and displaying all forms of Geographically referenced information. GIS has been defined based on its different aspects, i.e., the tools, the organization, and the spatial database. GIS allows us to view, understand, question, interpret, and visualize data in many ways that reveal relationships, patterns, and trends in the form of maps, globes, reports, and charts. A GIS helps you answer questions and solve problems by looking at your data in a way that is quickly understood and easy head. The components of GIS include the computer systems, the software, spatial data, data management and analysis procedures, and the people to operate the GIS FIG. 1.8 Data forms the major component of GIS. With recent developments in remote sensing and GPS technologies, large volume of high resolution data is widely available at affordable cost. The remote sensing data 
and GPS data are used as input in GIS. Computer hardware and software. Components are required for data entry, data storage, data processing, and analysis and also for producing outputs. GIS is of no use if people and the organizations in which they work are not properly oriented towards GIS. Finally, the information generated in GIS is communicated through network. GIS has been traditionally used as a tool for generating outputs helping in decision-making process for urban planning, management of natural resources, natural hazard assessment and management, environmental management, and many more. Recently, GIS has been used for emergency planning, logistics, and transportation-related analysis, crime analysis, business and service, planning, government and public services, analysis of genome sequences on DNA, etc. Internet has also been exploited to disseminate geographic information to the general public resulting into a new breed of specialized GIS, generally known as web GIS. More recently, capability of GIS has increased with its integration with GPS and has introduced exciting new applications such as in-car navigation, systems, precision farming, mobile mapping, pounds, etc. Applications of GIS are believed to become more imaginative with its wider public reach. With time, GIS has evolved from a data analysis tool to a spatial decision. Support system, SDSS, and virtual GIS, VGIS, or expert system, ES. SDSS can be considered as a tool coordinating between different professionals and making the decision processes interactive. It consists of processing tools which are able to answer the question what is going to happen if VGIS is characterized by the simplified user interfaces which allow management of analysis functions in a complex GIS even by non-qualified personals. Open GIS and interoperability are the recent keywords in GIS world. Open GIS stands for Open Source Coding. Interoperability aims to increase interaction between different software packages for easy data transfer and processing from one package to another and vice versa. 1.4 Advantages the understanding of Earth as a complex system of various interrelated processes and mechanisms had been realized by scientists. Despite the availability of huge amount of data and technological advancements, the amount of information available and the existing level of techniques are often inadequate to understand the Earth and its complex functions. Major Problem lies in the fact that the availability of the huge amount of data lies improperly managed and there is lack of information product in a form that can be directly utilized by the end users i.e. policy decision makers and managers. The power of geoinformatics is its ability to acquire spatial data, integrate spatial data with non-spatial data i.e. Descriptive information about the spatial data, analyze them, create and visualize different scenarios and produce outputs which can be used for understanding processes and management and decision-making. You may be aware that Sanjay Gandhi National Park, SGNP, is situated in the vicinity of Mumbai. Its close proximity to the most populous city puts Tremendous pressure on the forest ecosystem and monitoring of the entire park poses greater challenges to the forest officials. So, the park authorities decided to use geoinformatics techniques to map and monitor the park for initiating various conservation measures. With the above brief introduction on the real time need for spatial technology, let us discuss on the innumerable benefits derived out of using satellite remote sensing. Some of the advantages of 
Geoinformatics are listed below. Times can acquire geospatial data in time and cost-effective manner. Times can provide synoptic view and multi-date information of an area in different parts of electromagnetic spectrum. Times it helps in collecting data of an area without disturbing or destroying it. Times it can answer where, when, what and why scenarios which is not possible with any other software system. Times it assists in predicting events outcomes based on multi-criteria analysis. Times it helps in visualizing the scenarios under a given situation and its consequences. Such scenarios greatly assist disaster managers to plan for future and save human lives. Times it helps to create a comprehensive solution to a problem in hand, particularly assisting the decision and policy makers to arrive at an appropriate decision solution. Times it assists in planning strategies and is especially useful in cases where disastrous events demand quick decision making. 1.5 Evolution of Geoinformatics as a Multidisciplinary Discipline You have learnt in the earlier sections how geoinformatics was earlier. Considered primarily as a tool which was being applied in numerous application areas related to various disciplines. Perception about the geoinformatics has more or less changed from being a tool to a science. Geospatial information has now been recognized as an essential informational requirement for decision makers and planners. With the technological advancements and related developments, geoinformatics is emerging as a new scientific discipline and this emergence is being recognized by the scientific community. It is believed that to be a discipline, a subject should have certain elements such as textbooks, academic programs in universities, scientific conferences and related journals, academic societies, etc. All these elements exist with geoinformatics which qualify it to be a discipline. Moreover, geoinformatics as a discipline has been accepted by people from academia and industry. Geoinformatics is multidisciplinary by nature. You have already read that it integrates methodologies from computer science, geodesy, geography, cartography, remote sensing, GIS, GPS, digital image processing, artificial intelligence, cognitive psychology, etc. in order to understand earth features and processes and solve its problems. Using geoinformatics, we can study about Earth's surface features such as human settlement, road network, water, body, forest, wildlife and demography, etc. After reading the above sections, you shall agree that the complexity of the technologies in geoinformatics is dependent on skills of other disciplines. Therefore, geoinformatics application specialists need to have a sound knowledge of the theoretical aspects and practical approaches to integrate many resources of information that address different applications. Further, scientists, planners or engineers interested in these technologies should be familiar with past, present and future satellite systems, their appropriate usage, suitable data acquisition methods for problem at hand and be able to handle and integrate with other data sources. By understanding its multidisciplinary nature, any person can get interested into geoinformatics and learn to quickly adapt to the need based on his her prior experience with the real world. It is even very essential that every government department and IT professional realize the power of geoinformatics as a decision support system. 1.6 Applications In about last four decades, geoinformatics has grown as a major tool for collecting information on almost every aspect on the Earth. In fact, with the availability of very high spatial resolution satellites in the recent years, 
Applications of geoinformatics have increased multifold for a range of applications related to emergency services, public health and epidemiology, transportation and infrastructure, mineral exploration, urban planning and land, use management, in-car navigation systems, environmental modeling and analysis, military, agriculture, meteorology, climate change, oceanography and Coupled ocean and atmosphere modeling, business location planning, telecommunications, crime mapping, etc. In India, remote sensing has been used for various applications and has contributed significantly towards planning and development. Geoinformatics has facilitated mapping, inventorying, and monitoring of various natural resources like forests, minerals, soil water, agriculture, etc., which has further helped in conservation and also towards decision-making for resources. Management It has also helped in monitoring of natural hazards and prepare. Action plan for disaster preparedness and management. Geoinformation is helping thousands of organizations around the world. It is being used by the transmission and distribution companies for route. Alignment, asset mapping to reduce the transmission loss, check outage and theft. Route alignment for new transmission lines take critical geographic factors to avoid human settlement, forest areas, water bodies, existing mining areas and prohibited areas through geoinformatics. Ministry of Environment and Forests prepares, maintains and updates the coastal regulation zone. CRZ maps across the entire coast of India to check the human land use practices and preserve ecologically sensitive zone where corals and mangrove forests are found. Now many of the city municipal corporations maintain extensive database at ward level in GIS environment for better governance in times of emergency. Situation, relief distribution, land ownership, civic amenities, urban forestry, etc. State-run water authorities use geoinformatics to plan for water. Distribution, laying of new water connection, leakage detection and perform. Hydraulic analysis to ensure enough pressure is maintained for water to travel. Upstream in hilly terrain. You will study in detail about different applications of Geoinformatics in Block 4 of MGY001 Overview of Geoinformatics Crime Department analyzes the historic crime pattern in GIS Environment 2. Map the crime hotspots for better policing. Forest Department is increasingly relying on geoinformatics-derived maps to improve the forest cover at state level. Zoo authority is no exception. Animal migration, habitat destruction and biodiversity hotspots are studied through geoinformatics for preserving the last surviving wilderness in India. Applications of geoinformatics are unlimited and it is in the hands of the user to derive the results to the best. Advantage Now, with this background, can you the list the geoinformatics applications wherein you can make use of in daily life? 1.7 Geoinformatics Products Geoinformatics encompasses a broad range of applications, mapping agencies, satellite images, service providers, and all of which involve use of some combination of digital maps and georeferenced data. Results of Geospatial Analysis are presented in different forms, which are known as geoinformatics. Products The products include tabular text data, thematic maps, animations, information systems, spatial decision support systems, etc. Figs 1.9 and 1.10 Look at the screen. Fig 1.9 Examples of cartographic outputs showing a. multilayered display, b. a. 
Thematic output with symbols. The geoinformatics products can be categorized into the following. Times cartographic products. Times non-cartographic products. Cartographic outputs include both hard and soft copy maps which are prepared adhering to the cartographic conventions as shown in fig.1.9. The Hard copy maps can be taken as printouts from GIS system using a simple printing machine or a complex system like a plotter. Non-cartographic outputs include map models such as digital elevation models, them, an information system which are primarily used for visualization purposes, fig. 1.10, them allows versatile displays of Topographic data showing additional landscape attributes. An information system is a set of written, electronic, or graphical method of communicating. Information. Look at the screen. Fig. 1.10. Examples of non-cartographic outputs showing A. A shaded relief map. B. A. Remote sensing image draped over a digital elevation mode, them, C. Internet usage of GIS. The basis of an information system is the sharing and processing of information and ideas. Computers and telecommunication technologies have become essential information system components. Non-cartographic outputs also include texts, graphic outputs, and digital data and hard copy outputs. Tables may include attribute data of objects in GIS or it may contain the driving directions to tourists or a list of hospitals located in a city or a list of temples in a village. Geoinformatics products also include decision support systems, DSS, which serve the management, operations, and planning levels of an organization and Help to make decisions. A properly designed DSS is an interactive software based system intended to help decision makers compile useful information from a combination of raw data, documents, personal knowledge, or business models to identify and solve problems and make decisions. 1.8 Activity 1. Visit Google Earth website www. Earth, Google, com, and zoom to city, village of your residence. You can visualize how your city village appears in a remote sensing image. 2. If there are historical images of the city village, you can try to see how, with time, the place has changed. 1.9 Summary In the present unit, you have been introduced to the concept of geoinformatics its components and different application potential. Let us now summarize what we have studied in the unit. Times Geoinformatics is the union of Earth Sciences and Informatics. Times components of Geoinformatics include computer science, geodesy, cartography, photogrammetry, remote sensing, global positioning, system and geographical information system. Times Geoinformatics Data Acquisition, Processing, Product Generation, Data Visualization and Dissemination depend on the application and usage of Computer Science Times Geodesy defines the shape and dimensions of the Earth through its two branches, gravimetry and positioning astronomy. Times Cartography deals with the conception, production, dissemination and Study of maps. Times photogrammetry is concerned with the making measurements about position and shapes of objects with the help of photographs. Times remote sensing is a collection of data about an object from a distance. Times global positioning system, GPS, broadcasts signals, which enables people to precisely know where they are on the surface of the Earth. Times geographic information system. GIS integrates hardware, software, and data for capturing, managing, analyzing, and displaying all forms of geographically referenced information. 
Time's understanding of Earth as a complex system and its various interrelated processes and mechanisms have been made possible by geoinformatics. Geoinformatics is particularly useful in mapping, monitoring, and management of natural resources and disasters. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.